Hi guys, I'm Justin from CH Puppets, and I wanted to go over the traditional building method of puppets in Adobe Character Animator. What's the difference? Well, there's the traditional method and there's the body tracking method. The body tracking method is currently in open beta on Adobe Character Animator, and you can see a video how to animate and build using this. But currently, we're gonna go over the traditional build, which is animating using dragger handles. As you see here, if you don't know, layering is the single most important thing in this software. If your layering system isn't right, your puppet's not gonna work. But to help with that, I have created downloadable, pre-layered out blank files. We have one for traditional build and body tracking, available in both Illustrator and Photoshop. For this one, we're gonna wanna select traditional build Illustrator or traditional build Photoshop. I'm gonna select Illustrator. I did notice one small error in my prep files. In the frontal bodies folder, you're gonna have left prof and right prof. These are actually gonna be changed to left core and right core. Also in your faces folder at the very top, you'll notice that your left quarter and your right quarter heads actually say left core and right core. You're gonna make those tur, the full word, right quarter. And this is gonna tag these folders as the right quarter and left quarter head if it's typed correctly. Now that we have our file, you're gonna to wanna to proceed to section out your puppet using the exact same layering system I've given you. When you're done, it should look like this. So after you've sectioned your artwork out in the proper folders, you're gonna to wanna to import your character into a new Adobe Character Animator project. After you've imported your character into Character Animator, everything should be tagged properly with the exception of eyeballs and pupils you're gonna to wanna to search the word eyeball at the top. We're gonna to select everything in the left eyeball category by holding down control and clicking. Left eyeball, left eyeball, left eyeball, left eyeball, left eyeball. And you're gonna to wanna to click over here on the tags, left pupil range. You're gonna to wanna to do the same for right eyeball. Select them all and click right pupil range. Okay, so next you're gonna to wanna to search the word pupil. And now your pupils should be named left pupil and right pupil, which should auto tag them. But what we want to do is add a layer mask to the pupil so it doesn't go outside of the eye. You can do that by hitting Control Alt G, and you're going to want to do that on the topmost pupil, not the bottom most. So the one that'll be, be labeled left pupil or right pupil. You're going to want to do this to all pupils. Again, that keyboard shortcut is Control Alt G. After your pupil has their layer masks, you're gonna wanna go ahead and search the word blink. As long as they're labeled left blink and right blink, they should be tagged properly. But we, what we need to do is add a cycle layers behavior. So you're gonna hold down Control and select all of your blinks and add a cycle layers behavior. And with all of them still highlighted, you're gonna scroll down over here. We're gonna change layer order, bottom to top, check the boxes forward and reverse, and hold on to last layer. And now we wanna click the plus over here in your triggers and create a trigger. With all your blinks still selected, drag them onto your new trigger and rename it blink. This will create a forced blink animation to happen whenever you press your hotkey. You can assign it whatever you want. I'll use one. So the next step is you wanna collapse all of your layers so they look like what I have here. We're gonna select face and we're gonna add the parameters eye gaze, face, head turner, and lip sync. Now we're gonna select right profile head Hold down control and select left profile head and we're going to add eye gaze, face, and lip sync. Quick little PSA, if you have any layers labeled with the tag left or right eyelid, they are going to behave as eyelids and track your eyelids. I'm not a big fan of this animation so I go through and turn off anything named left eyelid or right eyelid. It's a matter of personal preference, so I'll leave it up to you. After turning off your eyelids or not, we're gonna move into mouth sets. If you have multiple mouth sets, you're gonna need to go ahead and make sure they're labeled properly. Now, if you have your master folder labeled mouth, you're gonna need to make sure it's not tagged mouth. You can do that by making sure that this mouth icon right here is not blue when you highlight your master mouth folder. 
Now for sad mouth and happy mouth like I have here, we're gonna highlight them all and we're gonna make sure that our mouth is tagged as blue, which it is. Now we wanna create a swap set with two triggers in them. And on the first trigger, I want you to click and drag, holding down control to click all of them, the sad mouths to the top, and doing the same with the happy mouths, if you have multiple mouth sets, to the bottom. And of course, right click and rename them to keep everything nice and organized. You're gonna to wanna to highlight both of these and set the uh, style here to latch, so they stay on. And I double clicked happy to make it the default. We'll make the trigger for sad too. Now our heads should be pretty much all taken care of and we need to go into rigging out the bodies. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create another swap set and highlight front, right prof and left prof and drag it in. Feel free to set these to latch and make front your default. Setting the hotkeys to whatever you want, I'm gonna use three and four. Going in, we're gonna start rigging the frontal body. So to start off, we're gonna jump into the arms. You're gonna to wanna to drag your source handle to where your shoulder is. We're gonna put a handle on the elbow and toggle it as right elbow, draggable. And then we're gonna tag the wrist and label it as right wrist, draggable. And then we're gonna put in some bones. You're gonna do the same for the left arm. Now we're gonna come in and do the legs and we're gonna start with tagging the left ankle. This is gonna create an origin handle and we're gonna drag that up to where his waist is. Now you can tag your kneecap. We're gonna tag the toe on the inside and the ankle on the outside, as you see here. And then add some sticks and do the same to the other leg. After your puppet's done, if you experience any pigeon toeing at all, the angle of the feet being wrong, come in and adjust your heel and your toe. Those will usually even it out. I find that putting them in this triangle formation usually keeps them quite straight. Now we're gonna come into the torso and we're gonna tag the shoulders. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna prevent stretching of your artwork. And we're gonna tag hips. Those should all be where your origin handle was on your arms and legs. And I like to move my origin handle to the belly button. I'm not sure if this is common practice or not. It's just what I do. And with that, your frontal profile should be rigged up. Is occasionally I'll do a build that has arms on top and behind so you can interact with your puppet in front of and behind them. If you do this, you'll need to add the limb IK features to the top arms like I've done here in my math teacher. You see I have right arm top, left arm top, right arm bottom, and left arm bottom. On the right arm top and left arm top, I have added the limb IK feature, but not to the bottom. That's taken care of by the limb IK feature assigned to the frontal, left profile, and right profile folders. So again, we're gonna wanna add those limb IK features to each of our angles independently. and then on the right profile and left profile master folders. So go ahead and turn off your front angle and we'll get to work on your right profile. You may also need to turn off your right profile and left profile located at the bottom. Now I prefer to turn off the torso when I build out the profile angles or the three quarter angles. So we're gonna go ahead and build this out just like we did the last one with the draggers in the elbows and the wrists. So in the end, your arms look like this. Now the legs we're gonna do a little bit differently. We're gonna make the heels draggable. This will allow us to do a cool sitting animation. So to start off, drag your origin handle to the top of your leg and then your kneecaps, your ankle, your toe. And then for your heel, we're gonna click and make it draggable and then bone it out. Do the same to your right leg. And in the end, your legs should look like this. Now we're gonna turn our torso back on and we're gonna do the same with tagging our shoulders and our hips. And repeat that process again for the other profile. So in the end, your other profile should match the first profile. 
Okay, now we gotta rig out our walking angles. This is a five angle build, but I'm building it like a three angle. My left profile and right profile are actually quarters, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. We're using the word profile to trigger the walk. You're gonna to wanna to turn off your frontal folder at the very top and then activate your right profile or left profile folder. To rig these out, we're gonna do the same thing as we did before, but not make anything draggable. So in the end, your body should look a lot like this. Now note that we didn't tag any of the hips or shoulders on this one. The movement just looks too wonky while they're walking. You're gonna wanna repeat this same process for the other walking angle. Again, nothing draggable and no shoulders or hips. After you have all that rigged up, you're gonna need to add a walk behavior by going plus walk. If you come to your behaviors on this side, you're gonna wanna make sure you have it selected to left and right arrow keys. And I usually put my strength somewhere between 50 to 68, somewhere in there, seems to look the best for strength. There we go. Okay, so you can see that everything is working as intended. Our hands move and they don't stretch. And if we activate our body angles, you can see that our legs also bend rather nicely. You may have to play with the layering. I think you might need to move the closest leg above the hip for it to look correctly, because as you can see, we have some layering issues there. This can be done just by coming into rig, going into your profile body and dragging that leg above torso. And as you can see, the walk cycle looks clean as well. And if you have any problems with your limbs stretching, be sure to go in and make all of your tags correct. Now you'll see our elbows are actually starting to bend the wrong way sometimes like this one here. So what I like to do is I like to come to rig and then click on any of the, anything that is gonna have your limb IK feature. We're gonna start with right profile and left profile. We're gonna come to limb IK. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we're gonna change our elbow flip threshold to negative 50. And now you can see that our elbows are bending in the correct spot. Now I wanna to come to the front profile and I wanna change our elbow flip threshold to positive 50, not negative like the last one. And that takes care of that. Feel free to play with that parameter to find what best suits your needs. Now we need to rig our hands. To do so, we're gonna create two swap sets. Name one of these right hand, name the other one left hand. On right hand, we're gonna move all of our right hands, as you guessed, including the default. We're gonna do the same with left hand. Now these hand packs are available for download on my website. You can find a link in the description below. It comes with all of my mouths and all of my hands. With all of them selected, we wanna create a latch behavior on these, and we wanna set the default hand, obviously, as default. You can do this to your walking angles as well. Make sure they're set to style latch across the board and double click default to make it your default hand. And the cool part with the way we did our hands is no matter what angle you're at, they show up. And with that, we have a fully rigged five angle puppet with posable legs. Keep an eye out for a video on how to make a sitting animation. It may already be in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, thanks for letting CH Puppets bring your content to life.